is purely a speculation video and only my opinion, but I wanted to think about why EA seems to be rushing through this latest roadmap labeled to be continued. EA seems to be pushing out all of the content of this roadmap within the next six weeks. The roadmap released on September 5th, and the two kits, the Artist Studio Kit and the Storybook Nursery Kits, are both coming out two weeks after the roadmap dropped on September 19th. The next in-game event, which is the Reaper's Reward event, starts five days after the kits drop. The first event, which we had last summer, spanned over five weeks to collect all of the items. If this new Reaper's Reward event follows the same pattern, it would run five weeks from September 24th, which takes us all the way to October 29th. Should be the day of the pre-pack patch. October 3rd, we're getting the first trailer for the Life and Death expansion pack. Of course, we'll probably get some sort of developer's live stream either the Thursday or the Friday before the expansion pack releases. So that would be October 24th or the 25th. We get the pre-pack patch October 29th, which should be the same day the event ends. And then the actual pack launches October 31st. I'm sure we'll get some other teasers and a gameplay trailer somewhere in there the week of October 19th, but it's still not clear why EA is doing it this way. We've only had three months since the last expansion pack, Love Struck, came out in July, and it was pretty much broken upon launch, so it's just now playable after four patches. Is EA ready to announce The Sims 5 slash Project Renee? We haven't had a Behind The Sims in many months, but since then we've had a new Discord server, new forums a new EA Play Labs where you can now try to play test games in the future. They gave us this roadmap with pretty much all the dates spelled out, but still left the air of mystery with the to be continued at the end. So I'm not sure what to expect, but I know something big is on the horizon for the Sims franchise. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this latest roadmap.